everyone. Inside Look TV Magazine got the exclusive at the GI Film Festival that took place in Alexandria, Virginia. This event features movie screenings by international and domestic filmmakers, award presentations featuring a special celebrity, major motion picture screening, a kickoff cocktail party, red carpet events, special exhibitions, and a Hollywood meet and greet, plus so much more. We got to interview Montel Williams, a big military supporter, plus some of the winners of the GI Film Festival and other VIPs. Take a look at the video. We're at the uh, GI Film Festival and we are part of the entertainment this evening for the uh, gala event. So we're the uh, we're doing some jokes uh, to light, you know, kind of bring some levity to like these really deep and like piercing films. That's what we do. We're like. <laughs> When it gets really serious, that's why we crack jokes, because that's what soldiers do. So that's our that's our part in the whole thing. We're the guys in the military who leaders typically don't like. We're we're the funny ones. Where they're like, you think you're a joke? Yeah, actually, yeah, it's kind of what I do. But uh, yeah, we're we're here to bring some levity because one of the most important parts of being in the military, especially deploying, is is knowing that you can laugh through some of these really difficult times that you have to suffer through through a deployment. And some of the things that these films depict. You know, what they don't show is the guys laughing and cracking jokes in the barracks and, and lip syncing to a Lady Gaga song. Don't, not a word. Um, Never, dude. She's, she's, a, she's a talented <laughs> artist. Uh, um, what's coming up next for you guys? Where are you headed? Uh, we are actually doing a show on the 4th of July in Phoenix, Arizona with uh, a band called the American Hitmen, which is a bunch of former Marines. They were on America's uh, Got Talent. So it's going to be a, a, an American rock band made of Marines and three stand-up comics who were in the military on the 4th of July. So it could quite possibly be the most patriotic show ever in the history of forever. For real. That's right. That's awesome for you guys. I'm happy. Fireworks at the end. Just fireworks at the end. It's almost like WWE, but with veterans. Warren's going to awesome. come out with Bon Jovi <laughs> and just play cherry pie all night as I strut across the stage. It's going to be awesome, not going to lie. Hey, inside, look, we're the GIs of comedy. Don't look inside. It's it's not a pretty. It's not. No, no, no. It's not. It's we, are, it's terrible. we are the GIs of comedy. He is Vietnamese, and I was born in Cuba. So, <laughs> trust me, all colors are taking care of this show. <laughs> um, we're the GIs of comedy. I've got an army guy, and a Vietnamese army guy, a Cuban in the Air Force, a white guy in the Navy, and a black guy in the Marines. All I need is a Muslim in the Coast Guard, and this group is set. So it's if you know awesome. one, it's you know awesome. one, yeah. Tom at the GIs of Comedy. <laughs> this festival is obviously very important, especially on Memorial Day now, because it uh, it shows people uh, what's going on in the service. Like I served, I was doing for my job. Like people don't understand and you see glorified versions of it on film, but I think the beauty of this film festival is that it's uh, a lot of times a real portrayal that people don't understand. Like, I remember being in the Navy and telling people I had duty for the weekend, and they go, they didn't understand that someone had to man the ship. They thought you just locked it up and, and came home for the weekend, but you don't. Somebody has to man that post, and uh, it's, I think it's great for the people to see these types of films so that they can see what really goes on with the military that protects their freedoms. I ended up doing that and I do uh, stand-up. And now I work for the American Heroes Channel. I work on a show called America Facts vs. Fiction and I'm here in support of uh, that network and that show. And uh, they always support the military. So it was great for me as a former military guy to be part of that network and to come out and to support the film festival. So I'm hosting the award show tonight. Hey, I'm Jamie Kaler and you're watching Inside Look TV. Don't you change that channel. GI Film Festival is to foster a positive image about our men and women who serve and, and to actually connect soldiers to society. So we do that through film and television and dynamic fun events. We were, we've been premiering 65 films this week, all genres, all branches of service, everything from the Civil War through the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. We've had celebrity red carpets, as you can see right here. So it's been a great week of that. We've had receptions, parties, workshops, you name it. Now we're uh, now on Saturday night, and tonight we're going to be presenting the GI Choice Award to Arlie Ermey, everybody's favorite gunny sergeant. And we're also going to be doing our Best of Festival Award show. So it's a very exciting night. My name is Kristen Renton. And I'm Danny Boudet. All right, so we're very excited about today's event. Can you elaborate a little bit more about your character? Uh, well, 
I play an integral part in the film. Uh, I I play. How would you describe my character? <laughs> so, Kristen. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I actually play uh, an adult entertainer who uh, is the best friend of his brother, or is the girlfriend of his brother? Girlfriend of uh, the lead's brother, who uh, you know is trying to, I would say, help make the transition back home a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Would be a nice way to put yeah, it. Yeah. They get into a situation and uh, Kristen helps them figure out a way to get yes. out of it with Feruza yes. Balk, who plays the main antagonist in the movie. Yes. Right, so it's like an exciting character. What about you? <laughs> I play the character of Michelle, who um, meets our lead character and they wind up on an unlikely journey together. Oh, wow. So as the producer, how did they do? What did you think about all the actors and everything that went Oh man, that was the biggest blessing in this movie, was the cast. The cast is phenomenal in this film. Zane Holtz, Kristen Renton, Heather McComb, David James Elliott, Ryan Eggold, Feruza Balk, they all killed it. They did an amazing job. Even the supporting actors, like Essence Amy Davidson, Adkins. Essence Adkins, Charles, Charles Michael Davis. Davis, they all did such an amazing job. David mm. James Elliott and I smoked a lot of cigars. Ah, and he's a good guitar player, David James Elliott. Yes. That's a secret. He plays yeah. guitar in his trailer when he's not shooting. <laughs> I gave away your secret. Sorry, David. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? No, I'm really, I'm really just uh, goody two shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Do not buy that, by the way. Do not Love buy that for a second, by the way. That's I love that. She lies. Oh, one more thing, you guys. What's coming up for you? Oh, what's coming? Well, this is coming up for me now. I don't know what's coming up next. Who knows? I have a couple so movies I, coming out. It's an adventure, you know? You kind of never know what's going to happen every day when you wake up. So So I have a new project, Skip Tracer, after this. But Battle Scars is today, so we're world premiering Battle Scars, so that's what we're here to promote. But yeah, I have another project coming out later on in the year. So Inside, Inside Love, Love TV! TV. Mwah. Yeah, so uh, War Pigs is a World War II action adventure film. Uh, it's about this ragtag unit of misfit soldiers that get formed into this elite fighting group. They have to go behind enemy lines uh, to blow up one of Hitler's uh, wonder weapons. Luke's my producing partner. We got a great cast in the movie. We got Chuck Liddell, we got Dolph Lundgren, we got Mickey Rourke, and we got Luke Goss. How did the idea come about? Like, where, where did you get that idea from? Well, I'm a producer of the film, but this is his vision. This is so, all Luke. It was kind of fun because Andre kind of set me up with some cast that he really liked for the movie. And as we were kind of working on the story together, I was like, okay, I can envision these guys as these characters. So that's kind of how it was written with these guys in mind. So fun that way. Yeah, we spent a year together making this movie, and uh, we're very excited to premiere it here at the GI Film Festival. And to premiere it during this weekend, out of all weekends, it's a dream come true. It's really. a big deal. Why do you think it's important for us to support not only the GI, but our, our, you know, our veterans, our troops? Well, these guys are making the ultimate sacrifice for us. And uh, we get to stand here today and live life and be with our family, and they're out there on the front line. So all, all, all respect to them. My name is Luke Schutzel. This is Andre Rellis. We're the producers for War Pig. And uh, you're here watching Inside, Inside Look. Look. No, I have 22 years in the military. I was in the Marine Corps and the Navy. I happen to personally know Andy Barlow, who is one of the subjects of one of the movies that's happening tonight. So that's why I came out to actually host his event and host a question and answer after. But, you know, I mean, for me, 
I'm supposed to be here. This is about our boys. This is about what we do. And this is a 67 movies, kind of depicting in multiple different ways some aspect of military life. And it's something that I think we should have a ton more people. You know, I, I, I've never had a role model in my entire life, but there's a lot of people I look up to, hundreds of people I look up to. Everybody from one of my high elementary school teachers to my high school teacher to, you know, one of my classmates in the Naval Academy. I kind of look at that a little differently than most people because I don't pinpoint one individual because, you know, that it's not necessarily a vogue thing to say, but it takes a village and a country to raise anybody. And there have been a lot of people along the way that helped me keep me on track, so I'd be here for five hours naming who my role models are. Tons of things. I think if you look in the uh, the business section, you'll find out that I've been working on uh, some uh, medical device initiative that's uh, right now I'm currently involved with a company that has is doing three clinical trials around the country on traumatic brain injury. I'm also working on one of the, I say, most advanced forms of waste to energy biotech companies in the world. I was recently uh, selected as a special envoy to the UN, so I'm working on some UN initiatives. I'm doing so much, you gotta follow me because there's a lot going on under Montel's roof. I think everybody in America, probably about half of the people in the world have seen Full Metal Jacket. I was uh, hired as technical advisor, but it was film number five for me. And I had uh, every film that I had done technical advice on, I had ended up doing a role in, so I. I pretty much accepted the, the technical advisor job to get my foot in the door so I could score the role. The Marine Corps didn't teach me to fail, and so we did succeed. I wrote most of everything I said in Full Metal Jacket. Uh, there was a lot of technical problems with Full Metal Jacket when I got there, but we fixed it, and it turned out pretty good. The, the GI Film Festival supports us, the veterans, and the active duty personnel in this country. And uh, what the heck? This is our Sundance, isn't it? It is. Okay, well, what the heck? Everybody should have a Sundance, especially us guys, and our guys deserve it. Uh, it's Veterans Day. I suggest that everybody drop to their knees, hurl out a couple of prayers to those who have gone before us. And, uh, you know, it'll be appreciated, and I, we can't forget those, those guys and gals. Uh, this is not just a day to go have weenies, hot dogs, and hamburgers at the park. It's a day to, to sit back and, and think about those men and women that have, that have given their lives for this country. I ride motorcycles and I work with a, uh, with a company named Victory Motorcycles. And we support, support the IAVA, which is the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. And we come to these events all the time. We do Rolling Thunder every year. And as a matter of fact, the IABA guys, if they don't have a motorcycle, Victor will give them a motorcycle to ride. Yeah, so, you know, we're, we stay busy, but uh, I figure I'm 71, and I figure I've only got about, I've got about 20 more productive years left, I figure. <laughs> Hoorah, Semper Fi. God bless Inside Look TV. You gotta love it. Oh, what a great event. How inspirational to hear the various points of view of how our men and women who fight for our country survive, struggle, and triumph. The GI Film Festival, known as GIFF, is a nonprofit educational organization dedicated to sharing the military experience in and out of the arena of war. This festival is the first in the nation to exclusively celebrate the successes and sacrifices of our service members through the medium of film. Well, that's it for this edition of Inside Look TV. Please check us out online and social media. And remember, Inside Look TV is everywhere for you. I'm Jane Ruby. I'll be looking for you next time. I was just over 40 years old. I haven't changed a damn bit, have I? I was here for the first GI Film Festival, and it was a pretty humble event. <laughs> Wasn't much to it, but 
I've seen it grow through the years. And uh, this is our Sunday. organization, GI Film Festival, has become so impressive. Uh, my manager called me up uh, about a month ago and said, you're going to be in Washington, D.C. doing the uh, Rolling Thunder. Uh, they're going to be doing the GI Film Festival about the same time. They, they have an award for you. Would you like to attend? I heard you should. Fine guys. Now here's the deal. I could get the Academy Award, it wouldn't mean much to me. But this is an award given to me by my peers. And this does mean something to me. And I will help support the GI Film Festival. All you've got to do is reach out to me, you know that. Anyway, God bless you all. Thank you.